Welcome to poem L.I. of Ripka, region of Ruta, during Corona. Yes, we have reached poem L.I., poem 51. We're getting there. Today I would like to do, uh, I don't think it's totally different. We're just, uh, I think I've done this before, but I'm going to read it in English first. To get so you can have a little taste of it and then go through the Spanish and then come back with commentary uh, and go through the English. Okay. So here we go. Number one in English. Poem L1, 51. Neruda, the book of questions. Why do I hate cities smelling of woman and urine? Isn't the city the great ocean of quaking mattresses? <laughs> that was good. The city, the ocean of quaking mattresses. Great image. Doesn't Oceana of the Winds have islands and palm trees? Oceana. Uh, Oceana... Well, I'll come back to it after the, the Spanish and we go through it again and talk about that. Uh, last one, number four. Why did I return to the indifference of the limitless ocean? Wow. Yesterday in poem L, poem 50, he used the word mar, sea, a lot. And we talked about that. Who can convince the sea to be reasonable? And what does it get from demolishing blue amber? Uh, and then uh, why, he asks, did I close the road falling into the sea's trap, right? So once again, the last two questions there, he switched over to the first person pronoun. You can see he, he did a similar thing here. He brings up the first person pronoun in the first one. Why do I hate cities? Uh, and then he brings up the uh, first person pronoun in the fourth one. Why did I return to the indifference? But the one thing I wanted to... Uh, point out was in the Spanish in poem L he uses poem 50 he uses el mar the sea from madre in Latin and we get of course marine marina all those great words uh, over in the new poem though he's not using the word el mar he is using the word uh, oceano el oceano the ocean so is the ocean somehow different for Neruda than the sea. Is, it, is he using these two words differently? It's curious, curious and curious. Maybe one way to approach the question is to see how he talks about the sea being unreasonable uh, and irrational and demolishing things. And then how does he talk about the ocean? Does it too appear irrational and, and capable of demolishing things or, or does it have different traits? So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, read the Spanish as now we've uh, analyzed a little bit of uh, those four questions. It'll at least give you something to think about and, and that the Spanish uses not C for poem 51 like it did for poem 50, but the word for ocean. Here we go. Por qué detesto las ciudades con olor a mujer y orina? No es la ciudad el gran océano. De los cocones que palpitan. La Oceania de los Aires no tiene islas y palmeras. ¿Y por qué volví a la indiferencia del Oceano desmedido? So there are two different words here. He uses ocean twice, oceano, and then he uses the word oceania, which was the third question, which had the word oceania, o oceania, doesn't oceania of the winds. So he has the word ocean and then oceania. There is a, a geographical difference here. Uh, the ocean is the ocean, of course, but the oceania is a geographical region right over there near Australia a little bit. It's in that area. That's your Oceania region. It includes the Australia, a little bit of Asia, what's called Australasia, 
of all things. Uh, Polynesian islands over there, it includes. All that is included in this geographical region. It's not a continent. It's a region uh, called Oceania or Oceania or Oceania. Probably does have three different pronunciations, knowing that word. All right, so let's go through the English here again and uh, with a slight bit of commentary. Why do I hate cities? Smelling of women and urine. So he's bringing up cities, and then he's bringing up urine, and then women. And see, so he doesn't hate city. I mean, he doesn't hate women. He doesn't hate urine. He hates cities that smell like women and urine. All right. Uh, interesting enough, he then goes into the ocean. So he, he's talking about a city, and then he moves into the ocean. And, but, he, but he continues the theme of the city. Isn't the city the great ocean of quaking mattresses? Sounds a bit ironic, doesn't it? Sounds a bit uh, sardonic. Sounds like he's making fun of the city that he hates, that smells of women in urine. And now he's calling it a great ocean of quaking mattresses, not a, not a legitimate ocean of wondrous waves. And then he gets into that geographical region. Doesn't Oceania, Oceania, <laughs> Oceania, however you want to pronounce that, doesn't Oceania of the winds have islands and palm trees? So it's really asking, doesn't this geographical area of the winds, I guess the winds blow in that area, uh, doesn't that geographic area of the winds have islands and palm trees? And then the last one, he, he then comes back into his sort of sadness, his melancholy. Why did I return to the indifference of the limitless ocean? Here we see that he has given a trait, an attribute to the ocean. Indifferent. Kind of like the universe. It's indifferent to what is happening in our lives. And there we are. That's poem L1, 51, for... Interesting questions about cities, oceans, and mattresses. And here they are one more time for your listening enjoyment. Why do I hate cities? Smelling of woman and urine. Isn't the city a great ocean of quaking mattresses? Doesn't Oceania of the winds have islands and palm trees? And why did I return to the indifference of the limitless ocean? Well, I hope you don't have an indifferent Thursday today, but instead an exciting Thursday full of adventure and love and joy. And what is he going to talk about tomorrow, our man Pablo Neruda? Will it be the sea? Will it be the ocean? Well, I guess you're going to have to wait and see until tomorrow for Poem 52. Thanks for joining me for Ripka Reads Neruda During Corona.